Hi there, John Moore here, and I am a teacher of shamanism from the state of Maine in the U.S., and I want to talk to you about how to start shamanism. You're interested in shamanism, you'd like to learn more, you'd like to uh, learn shamanism. How do you get started? Um, and there are a few ways, and I personally have my preferences, but I'll, I'll take you through each of them. Um, First of all, you could take a course in shamanism. There are online courses, there are in-person courses. You need to learn how to do what's called a shamanic journey. That's the first step and start to become acquainted with your helping spirits. So shamans use altered states of consciousness, that's the journeying part, to uh, travel in spirit form and work with helping spirits. You can learn how to journey by um, you know, by contacting a teacher, uh, joining a class, okay, so there are classes maybe called Intro to Shamanism or Intro to Shamanic Journeying, you can do that. Um, you can mentor one-on-one, -on -one, which is primarily how I teach these days, although I do teach classes and different topics from time to time. I haven't taught an intro class in a few years. Maybe I'll do that again, but, um, uh, so there are classes, like I said, online or in person. Um, the advantage of doing a class is that you are with a cohort, a group of people, and there can be some support there. There can be some wonderful support there. So one-on-one um, -on -one mentorship, taking a class, um, you could potentially jump into an apprenticeship with uh, somebody if they accept you into an apprenticeship. It's a long-term relationship, uh, usually one or two years, and uh, there will be classwork. You might be with a cohort. There will be stuff you need to do on your own. It's very involved. It's how it's actually how I got started in shamanism, and you might have to do some work before you're let into an apprenticeship, as I did. Um, my teacher made me complete some preliminary stuff before I was able to, to um, participate in an apprenticeship with her. Um, so those are kind of the top ways. That would be my preference. And that, because it involves kind of one-on-one -on -one relationship with a teacher, shamanic stuff is complicated. Lots of things can happen. You want somebody that you can go to if problems arise, if you don't know how to interpret something. Not that a teacher is going to interpret your journeys, but if you, you know, something comes up and you don't know how to deal with it, having a teacher, really important. That being said, there are pre-recorded courses and books where you could get the basics of journeying. I don't personally recommend those, but that is one path you can, you can certainly take. What happens if you run into a problem or you're stuck or, uh, you know, something really weird happens or, uh, you know, there are risks in the spiritual world. Um, you know, that being said, uh, you don't have the support system. And that's why I don't necessarily recommend those paths for somebody starting out as you get going. Having, um, you know, having a collection of books to uh, learn more and that sort of thing is, is very useful. It's a good thing to have happen. Um, so that is, you know, one type of shamanism. Another type of sh shamanism that I don't practice um, and I don't teach involves using plant medicines. Um, obviously, there are risks to doing things like ayahuasca and psilocybin. Psilocybin is considerably less risky than ayahuasca, but I don't want to get too far into that. And if you are going to go that route, and I'm not telling you to go that route or not, understand the risks. Understand that if you take ayahuasca and you have some problem with serotonin in your system, it can be fatal or it can cause problems. I've known of people, I've heard of numerous people being hospitalized after um, taking ayahuasca in Peru or, or wherever. Um, and I've known people, not known them personally, but known of people who have died from taking ayahuasca. So it, well, it, it, it's also not going to turn you into a shaman just going and taking some plant medicine. I realize a lot of it's very popular these days, fly down to wherever or even in the U.S., although the legality of it is is uh, certainly in question. 
um, and doing ayahuasca ceremony and how do you know that that person is experienced and has all the training they need and all of those things so just be super super careful i am not saying don't take plant medicines not at all um i think in cultural context in um you know with somebody who has deep training and can help you avoid problems uh, I think that is, uh, I think it's fine. I'm not going to cast judgment on that sort of thing. I just want people to understand the risks and that there aren't really shortcuts to doing your work. They are, they are aids, they're help, they're helpful. So anyway, how to get started in, in shamanism. My picks would be find a teacher, take a class, do an apprenticeship or do a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with them uh secondarily to that find like a like a pre-recorded or online live class and go through that and learn the basics of journeying and then if you decide that shamanism for you is for you and it's not for everyone it is not an easy path if you are doing it right it actually will put you through some hard times but you get stronger from that um if you find out it's for you you're going to want to associate with a teacher at some point I'll just, just put it that way for at least part of your journey. That being said, I hope that's helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we'll talk to you really soon.